What's up guys? Hope y'all are ready for another turkey episode for the Primos Truth web series. This one features the one and only Jimmy Primos. Him and T-Roy travel down to Georgia to hunt with our friend Travis Sumner who works with the NWTF. As you can imagine, any episode that's got Jimbo in it is not going to be boring. <laughs> so I'm sure y'all will enjoy it, but a couple things first. If y'all want to save some money, there is a promo code from primos.com right now. It'll save you 15% off any regularly priced item, and this is valid through April the 1st. So put in promo code SPRING22, and uh, that'll save you some money. Also check out the Primo Select Calls. We're bringing back the Heartbreaker, the Little Heartbreaker, the Freak Pot, pot, the freak pot Call, the Jackpot Pot Call, um, and then we got a whole new series of mouth yelpers that I'm pretty psyched for y'all to see. And also check out the Little Gobstopper Decoys. Been very happy with those. So won't waste any more of y'all's time. Hope y'all enjoy the show. Headed your way. Sin. Oh, text me back already. Hurry up, jerk. I'm in, I want to go hunting. <laughs> I'm excited. Jimmy's excited. Opening day of Georgia season. Tomorrow morning. Good morning. Morning, buddy. You ready to go? Feel like I ain't never quit yet <laughs> since deer since elk season. Yeah, you've been you've been uh, getting up early and going hunting, have you? I've I've been lucky so far with that video camera. I'm bringing some secret weapons this year. Uh oh, well, yeah, I, I raided the shop and I got some new calls. So we'll we'll be good. <laughs> Masters of Spring and opening a Georgia turkey season. Here we come. Y'all get a Chevrolet, you wouldn't be so little. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Travis. That's right. <laughs> yeah, tell him. How was the drive? Yeah, uh, it was long, but good. We had, uh, it wasn't that bad. Stopped somewhere good to eat. We did, we found a good barbecue place somewhere down the road, I don't remember. Uh, had some chicken. <laughs> chicken? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Are you on a diet or what? Uh, well, I, you know. You look good. You look yeah. like you, you slimming and trimming. Yeah, I, I lost a little weight getting ready for elk season last year, trying to keep it off. So. Well, we've got a good group of girls here. Yeah. Girls. Okay. All women. All girls. Women. Uh, very okay. unique personalities. Yeah. I did see All that. women have unique personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but no, we've I, got a good, good little group of young ladies, and well, they've... Uh, I think it ought to be a good time. Yeah, well, great. I enjoyed uh, being with Ashley last year. That was a lot of fun. That was a very smart young lady. Yeah. Very smart. Yes, she was. And, well, I think we're going to eat, Robert. Mm -hmm. Going to get ready to eat. Going to get ready to do it. So, Sounds got good. plenty of food, meet everybody. And so, we arrived, of birds. we arrived in perfect time. Oh, yeah. See, I knew that. I knew yeah. you had it timed that yeah. there would be a meal as soon as you stepped out. Well, I, you know, I, I, I hated to miss any work that was done previous to our arrival. <laughs> the Jenkins family and Hanging Rock Plantation have been hosting the Masters of Spring for over 10 years now. This gracious family hosts terminally ill children and kids as they take part in this great event. It doesn't get any better than this for fun and turkey hunting. Excited to go hunt? Yes, sir. Have you been hunting before? Deer hunting? Anything? I've been deer hunting, but I've never shot my turkey. Never shot a turkey? No. All right. Hopefully, in the morning, we're gonna get into some turkey. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna have some. Yes, sir. He's been known not to take a bath the night before, so he may be a little. <laughs> we bring nose plugs. And earplugs. <laughs> Coming to hunt with us first time this year. The sponsors have great gifts and hunting gear for these young hunters. It really makes them feel special on this once in a lifetime hunt. And everything. We so appreciate y'all taking the time to come. Let's give her a big hand. Grace, tell them how many times you participated with us. Oh, this is your second time, right? Time yeah. putting your room or whatever. You see. Yeah, I'm well, glad you could come and everything be a part. Let's give her a hand. It wouldn't be possible 
without some great volunteers as well, like our old buddy, Walter Parrott. He said, Walter Parrott, NWTF Grand National Calling Championship Hall of Fame. I hope you like it. Walter, Cousin Jimmy, Travis Sumner, and all the volunteers take the time to take these wonderful children and kids honey, and this makes for a great event. That's what the Masters of Spring is all about. Opening day of the Georgia season. First morning here at the Masters of Spring. It's a little cool, cooler than normal, which hopefully these seven long beards that Robert saw run across the road and go to roost yesterday ought to be waiting on us this morning for this young lady to get her first turkey. Are y'all ready? That don't sound good when you breathe heavy this early in the morning. <laughs> Well, at least I'm breathing. Well, that's true. But I'm thinking, man, mm. we ain't even got started good yet. I know it. I know it. Good morning. How are y'all? We're good. How are you? Oh, y'all look like y'all ready to get some turkey. Look at that face. Come here. Yes. Come here. <laughs> oh, man. Turn turn this way till it was towards the light. <laughs> did you do your makeup this morning or your mama did that? <laughs> no. Huh? Mr. Jarrett. <laughs> you look you look like a Bengal tiger, girl. That looks good. <laughs> I like that. Come right on in, sir. Right, good morning. Good morning. Morning, morning everybody. Morning, morning. morning. There she is. Got her mask on already. <laughs> hey, you trying I'm to ready. play hide and seek or something? Oh yeah. <laughs> Getting ready. I am. Did you go to sleep last night? Uh yeah, but he woke me up at four. Welcome to the world of turkey hunting, girl. <laughs> you ready to go hunt a turkey this morning? Yes, I am. Okay, all right. Well, you got enough clothes on there? It's kind of nippy outside. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're gonna have to sit still for a while. Yeah, that's, that's one of the worst parts for me. I, I, it's sitting still? Yeah, I like to squirm, squirm a lot. You little squirm, oh, you're a little squirmy, huh? Mm hmm Okay, well, I'll call you squirmy. But anyway, we're gonna, we gonna have a little blind set up, a little low blind set up in front of us, so you can probably squirm around a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Okay. <laughs> Miss Lauren, I think you have two most unlucky turkey hunters in the world with you this morning. <laughs> it's the start of the season, and these turkeys are still flocked together. Gobblers with gobblers, and a lot of jakes all ganged up. Plus, these weather conditions make it feel like it's still winter instead of spring. Jimbo and Travis spend the next two days doing everything they can to get Lauren on a gobbler, but it just doesn't work out for them. With high winds and cold conditions, the gobblers just don't cooperate with this start of the season in Georgia. But the great thing about the Masters of Spring and Hanging Rock Plantation is that these kids will get to come back next year and try again for their very first turkey. Thank you to Robert Jenkins and the entire Jenkins family for their continued efforts of bringing outdoor memories to all of these children. <sighs> We're like Travis singing in the shower in there. I don't know, man. We all took our shower last night. He's holding us up. <sighs> I need 
need some more coffee. Wake up. Monday, the first very nice morning. It's warmer, it's clear, no wind, no rain. It ought to be a goblin morning. Bright and early on this, what feels to be like spring, instead of living in Portland, Oregon, in the rain, wind, and cold. So, I'm excited, very excited. Travis, what time are we leaving? We're gonna be leaving here in about five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. We're gonna be late. Gonna be late. Hey, we gotta get down there before they get woke up. But you know, you's in the bathroom. You know, I've been sitting here. Oh man, you the one who's all in the bathroom this morning. <laughs> Ain't me. Hey. Come on now. I, be, I need to be prepared before I get out there. You know what I mean? Well, are you prepared? Yeah, I'm always prepared. You know that. Okay, uh, you look prepared. <laughs> As the sun rises on Jimbo and Travis, they find themselves all in amongst them, just like they planned. But they soon find out, like I said earlier, that there are a lot of Jakes around this year. model to the Generation 3 trigger stick as seen on the truth. Visit primos.com. After their close call at daylight, the guys have been trying to find those long beards all day long. Travis has to leave us this afternoon, but thank goodness Troy is here. So Jimmy does not go left unsupervised 
Jimmy, you know I got to run out and go do a live for NWTF. <laughs> so, don't you know better than schedule things like that during turkey season? I thought we would be done. I'm gonna leave it with you and Troy. Okay. And at least y'all can give us a little information for in the morning. If not, you know, they come through here, get your turkey. Okay. All right, so sounds I'm good. Head back. Y'all hang tight. Good luck. All right, see you later. After Travis heads out, they get a visitor. No, Jimmy, that's not a beard on the armadillo. Put your gun down. About an hour later, they spot some turkeys coming across a big peanut field. That's a bunch of them. Oh, that's a big one. still out there. We learned a lot in, in four days. We spent time figuring it out, taking our time, not rushing the time. And we kept getting closer and closer. And we finally figured out what they were doing in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well, the season just opened, what, four days ago? Mm -hmm. And it's been, the first two days was cold and wet and rain. And they're all bunched up and uh, gobblers with gobblers. Oh, man. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a, golly, that's a inch and a quarter, inch and three eighths. You got that right. I don't care. It's a, that's that a troll beard. You got multiple beards? It, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a little one down here. All right. Thank you, man. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And old Travis, Travis had to leave early. I know y'all saw that. He left about an uh, hour and a half yeah, ago. he left an hour and a half ago and snuck out of here. Maybe tra tra maybe Travis has been jinxing us, Troy. You think so? I wasn't going to say it, but now <laughs> that you said it, I'm going <laughs> to. Well, we're, we're going to tell him that. <laughs> how, did, how, how was it looking through that bush now? I killed one at about a week and a half ago. Well, it's, it's, it's a great sight. I mean, it's a great sight. I'm, you put that red dot on him and just Put that red dot trigger. on and squeeze that trigger. and Boy, yeah, because that turkey was... He was 40. Yeah. 40. And I'm going to tell you what, he didn't even flop. No, he did. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're we got to end the week, buddy. All right. We got to go home tomorrow. So, what? what 
It's been a week. Just like we planned it, uh, right before you left, they work perfect. They come, they come out of the big uh, old peanut field and come around the edge and came down that lane into that clover field, hammering. Every time we'd call, they'd hammer it. And uh, finally, they come around there right to the edge of the road. <clears throat> and this time, Troy, Troy did not milk it like he normally does. That turkey, we could tell he was a long beard. There were several behind him. You know how that is. Oh, I mean, yeah. And when he poked his head up, he looked over at brush pile. Of course, it killed him. And before he got, <laughs> before he got to yeah. the word, end of the word him, I had to pull the trigger. What really makes it special is how you share. And you know, yeah, we, in WTF, we bring those yeah. children down here that never have hunted and try to get them uh, interested right. in hunting and turkey hunting. And you make it so much fun. Yeah. So and that, thank and you for and that. That's, and you know, this, this place was seven generations and it's just on loan to us, you know. God just lets us, he blesses our family by doing that. And that's what I say the whole time. You know, I'm just here, as a, I'm the caretaker. Yeah. I'm just taking right, care man. for him during my past and I'm yeah. passing through. So I'm just trying to share with, you know, others what I, you know, what we've done and teach others about it and, and go on from there. You know, they've that's been, what it's all about. seven generations of Jenkins like you. Well, well it goes. <laughs> Good well, Lord, I'm, I don't know. I wanted to get here and see this turkey. I tell you, it's been a, it's yeah. been a great ride. It has been fun. It's been fun.